today I'm building the world's largest working iPhone. And I'm gonna have the most famous tech reviewer on the entire planet put it to the test to see if it works as good as a new phone. You're probably wondering how we're going to accomplish this and it's because of my friend Koof here. He's an expert. We need to go on aisle five, let's go. Okay. <laughs> you need this TV. This is the biggest TV we sell and you're gonna convert this into a touch screen. Is that even possible? That's for you to figure out. After leaving the store, we started to plan our iPhone build. We've got like three cameras on the back, a flash and an infrared. We gotta make sure we add this Apple logo and make sure that it's got a mirrored finish. Wait, and Aaron, Aaron, you spilled the finish wrong. Once our giant iPhone is built, we'll be taking it to New York City and surviving a full day with it. The current world record for the world's largest iPhone is six feet tall and it was done by ZHC back in 2020. We'll get him on the phone, let's figure out how we did it. Do you want me to call him and ask him how to beat his own record? Uh-huh. So somehow we're gonna turn this into an iPhone. We wanna make our giant iPhone as accurate as possible so the lock buttons, volume buttons, everything has to work on this phone. We got it all cut out, now let's reveal it. When we download Minecraft on this, it's definitely not gonna be Pocket Edition. Most iPhones are extremely fragile, so we wanna make sure ours isn't. That's why Noah's gonna do some testing. Here we go. Ah! Oh! This guy's crazy, his crocs weren't even in sport mode. Now that we have this backside cut out, we're gonna start doing the shiny side. To make sure our corners have the perfect roundness, we have to make them from scratch by forging metal and melting it down. Now we're gonna grind everything all smooth and cut this excess off, and it'll be a perfect corner piece. This is the last piece that we need to add. It has the perfect bend shape. One of the most standout features on every iPhone is the reflective shiny metal finish. So in order for us to get that on our giant phone, we have to sand it just like you would with a car. While the boys are building some giant apple products out there, I'm gonna throw some apples at them. Hey, Harry, guess what? No, no, no! Oh, 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 let's go! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm good! We installed this laser that goes all the way around, making the TV completely touchscreen. Now we're gonna turn this thing into iOS. I just have to click this, and we should be good. Let's test the touch screen. Oh! Our giant iPhone is built. Now it's time to put it to the test. Let's try the calculator. Ooh, 60 plus nine equals. Now the weird thing about a giant iPhone is the camera is all the way up there, which makes it extremely hard to take a selfie. Noah's gonna push the button and I'll jump for the picture. <laughs> to test two apps at once, Duolingo and FaceTime, we called a subscriber from India. Hi. We're calling you from the world's largest iPhone, and I'm wondering if you're subscribed to the channel. Yes, I did just a few months ago. Tum Jitney Walihu $1,000. Did I say that right? Ha, tum thik bole. Whoa, I won $1,000. Yes, I said it right. Thank you so much for subscribing. Dhanyabad, Matthew. Main baat khush hu. You're welcome. Our giant iPhone is looking incredible, but it's missing one of the key details to make it come to life. The Apple logo, so let's install it. Our iPhone is finally completed. Now all we have to do is take it to New York City. We have a long list of things that we have to accomplish here before we get the phone reviewed by MKBHD. What's the deal with this thing? Oh, we're just making a YouTube video with it. It's taking up space in Times Square. We're just gonna get some pictures in front of it here. Just make it quick, right? Okay, thank you. That's pretty sick. Oh, that's weird. Why is it so big? Look at his phone. Have you ever seen a phone big like this? Look at that phone. You see that phone? It's a big phone. Is that the 15 Pro Max? Oh, they got Harry Birds? How much would you pay for this? Four grand. You almost broke it, kid. Where's your mom? Right behind you. Oh, hey guys, sorry. <laughs> actually me do it. The next thing on our to-do list is to use Apple Pay. We're bringing the giant iPhone into a watch store to buy a watch. Do you guys take Apple Pay? Yeah, we do. You guys got any Rollies? <laughs> nah, we never got no Rollies. No. Nah. You can tap on this. I think. You gotta stand, bro. Full stand. Let's go. All right, all right. Come on. I got you. I got you. To use the Apple Pay, yes, to stand on the counter. Does it work? Yeah, it works. That'd be crazy. Watch out, big phone coming out. Next up, Duolingo, the world's largest language learning app on the world's largest working iPhone, and they're also the sponsor of today's video. Before I tell you about them, I have to surprise someone. What is this? You're going to Puerto Rico in the next three hours. You need to learn Spanish. Let's go. <laughs> That's crazy. With these, we're gonna pack. Here, you can watch him while we're gone. Okay. <laughs> I guess I just got dog sitting duties. Anyone want to learn a language? Duolingo is basically a game, so it makes learning easy and fun at the same time. What I love most is the ability to learn languages anywhere, anytime. 
We're just sitting out by the ocean having some slushies. Muy delicioso. Everybody here assumes that I speak English, so they speak English to me. They don't know that I know Spanish. What's your name? Brian. My name is Aaron. Me and the Beam team travel all the time for videos, and Duolingo has helped us learn the basics of French, Japanese, and even Spanish. Hasta luego, Puerto Rico. Comment down below what languages you speak and use the link in the description to download Duolingo for free. And add me at Matthew Beam so we can learn together. Next on our checklist is taking the phone around to the most iconic sites. Say cheese, Matt. Do you got game on the phone? <laughs> Later on in this video, the most famous tech reviewer on the entire planet will be putting our giant phone to the test. So we're bringing it around the city to make sure it's prepared for him. We're testing the camera. They're playing video games right now. So far, it's holding up well. I really hope we get a good rating though. Now we're gonna be using the phone to check into our hotel for the night. All right, we're checking in today and checking out tomorrow, $545. We have to fit it through that door. We can't use our stand and we can't drop it. I'm actually scared that I'm gonna drop this. Ready? Oh my God. On five. Five. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Can you bring this down? Okay. Finally, we can check in and rest. <laughs> really thought we were about to drop that thing in the hotel lobby. Hi. So you have some rooms available tonight? Yes. That's your phone? Yeah. Oh, nice. Do you think that this phone will fit in the room? As long as it fits through the door. So we're checking into the hotel right now and every oh, single one of the employees is down here checking it out. We just got the last two rooms for the night. It said only two left and we got them. All right, off to our room we go. The iPhone doesn't fit in the elevator with the stand, so we have to pick it up again. World's largest iPhone in the small New York City hotel. It fits. It's bigger than the bed. To ensure that we wake up right early, I'm gonna set our alarm. We're gonna wake up at 7.30. We have our alarm set for the night. Now I just have to put the phone on do not disturb. There we go. Good night, Matt. We have three things left on our checklist and we're gonna start by doing our morning run in Central Park. We're gonna run a mile in the park and see how long it takes us. Um, we're making good time so far. Not really. This is the best way to go on a run. We can just check our time right here. Or we can just use a watch. So there's potholes everywhere. Oh my God, it's mud. We're at 44 seconds and we've gone about 20 feet so far. It's very hard to run with this thing. I love it. Wonderful. Good luck, guys. Yeah, you guys are messing up our time anyway. Let's get out of here. We gotta run. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it up this hill, bro. I feel, ah! like I feel like I'm pushing against him. Big dog, watch out. We're running out of time before our meeting with Marquez Brownlee, so we have to knock out the last two things from our checklist at the same time by going on the subway to see him. You got a mattress and a phone. See, you do see weird things on the train. <laughs> we have successfully brought our giant phone into the subway. You never know what you're going to see on the subway. This is fantastic. I love it. Oh, well, I can't talk right now. I'm on the subway. We're going to get off on the next stop. We finally got to Marquez's warehouse to complete the last step of our checklist. We're in MKBHD's warehouse right now, getting ready to get a tech review. There's millions of dollars worth of tech in here. Finally, ready for our phone to get reviewed by the biggest tech reviewer in the world. This thing is so heavy. We're good. We're good. We're good. Working with the world's largest iPhone is a workout. <sighs> it's all set up. Hopefully he gives us a good review. Here we go. Are you ready for this? I've been told very little, so I'm ready to be surprised. Okay. So you said the largest phone you've ever reviewed is like a few inches. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Check it out in three, two, one, take a look. Oh, that's a lot. Bigger <laughs> than I thought. That's more than a tablet. Jesus. Oh, it's an iPhone. Yeah, it's a fully functioning. Fully functioning? Eight foot tall iPhone. How fully functioning? Try it. <gasps> Do these work? Yeah, turn up the volume, turn down the volume. <laughs> I was at Mr. B studio yeah. and he had like a giant iPhone, but it was more, it was like half this size and it didn't work. So this is bigger and it fully works, which is sick. I'm impressed. Wow, that's pretty sick. How much do you think Apple would uh, charge for this? It would be the iPhone 14 Pro Max Plus Ultra. So this would probably be about two grand. Can I keep it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Sick, I love that. <laughs> I think it's one of one, so I gotta just give it, just based on that, a pretty high score. Work from the team to make this actually work, that's priceless, so I appreciate that. I'm gonna go eight out of 10. That camera's worked, and if I could pop open Siri, it'd be closer to a nine. Does it get your stamp of approval? I think so, world's largest iPhone, well played. Yes. <laughs>